What is it that makes up the cells in our bodies? The food we eat changes into nutrition and then becomes cells or energy. The need for food is another aspect of living things. Buddhism and some other groups teach not to kill living things. But no killing will result in no food. Because plants and animals are all living things. There are so many living things, even in a glass of water. You can see them through a microscope despite invisibility to the naked eye. But if you say, do not kill living things, that means you cannot consume any other living things. And as a result, you will die. Nevertheless, these Buddhist monks who teach not to kill still eat food and live well. They only think animals should not be killed. The concept of life is limited to animals. Therefore, Buddhists do not eat animals and eat only plants. Are the plants not living? Living things have to eat other living things to sustain their lives. That is a fact. In short, if we eat beef, then the cow will come into our bodies to become cells and energy. What has the cow been changed into? It was changed into part of a human. A human ate the beef to gain nutrition to make new cells and get energy. As a result, the cow has become human. This then is the cycle of rebirth. As the cow becomes human and the human becomes maggots, everything turns around and around. If a human dies and is buried in the earth, worms eat away the body. When human dung is used as fertilizer, then the plants will eventually be eaten by humans. This is a condition of life, a symbiotic relationship in an endless cycle. If there is rebirth in the universe, this is it. There is, however, no individual entity in the cycle of rebirth. All these objects are one. What spirits could come and go? Individual objects come to an end at their death. The body and the spirit disappear together. In this cycle, there must be a principle. That is, the scientific energy mass conservation law. Even though the cow disappeared, it transformed into other living things. Whether it was eaten by worms or humans, from the perspective of total mass, there would, therefore, be no change although the cow has disappeared. That is the same in both science and the nature of the truth. In truth, there is no change overall. There is only universal rotation. It doesn't matter whether its shape is human or dog or worms or any other thing. All forms are turning within it. What is the difference whether a cell is a liver cell, intestinal cell, or anus cell in our bodies? Are all not I? In the universe there exists the energy mass conservation law, which stipulates that there is no increase or decrease in energy. Even someone who is dead is not truly dead. What are they if not dead? Changed. But why do people say someone is dead when in reality they are merely changed? Why does such a notion arise? Because humans have mistakenly understood themselves as a subject with their own independent existence. I am dead. But I cannot be dead, but only transformed. Though the truth does not change, the manifested world will change. When you take a walk in a cemetery, you can see the grass growing and flowers on the graves. The plants grow by absorbing the nutrition from the bodies in the graves. All things change like this. The manifested world is constantly changing. The dead are changed, but not really dead. The reason why people cling to life is fear of death. Why be afraid of death? Because it is misunderstood. Scientists say that this universe will disappear after 25 billion years. And before that happens, in 5 billion years, so will Earth. 
That means Earth will disappear before the universe does. When Earth disappears, what will become of the people on it? Humanity needs to prepare to move to another planet. How will Earth disappear? The sun will expand and then all planets around it will be absorbed into it. Then humans born on Earth and living on it as a cell shall disappear with it. The whole and the part are one. There is an incredible difference between cognizing the whole as one and cognizing only an individual identity. One who can view the whole as one does not insist on an individual as I. Because everything keeps changing and being replaced. When viewed from the perspective of the universe, is it sad that a human is dead, disappeared? There is no reason for sadness. It would, however, be sad if there were individual consciousness. Because the manifested appearance seems to be dead, it should be sad. However, there is no death. Then is anyone born? There is also no one who was born. There is no birth. The whole just keeps changing, replacing its shape. This will be that. That will be this. The human consciousness makes fun out of the process of change, creating various events. It is as if consciousness itself is writing a novel. Who made the manifested universe? It comes from consciousness. Consciousness made the universe and then became deceived by itself. However, through the process, the consciousness can someday become enlightened. Therefore, this universe can be said to be a one-man show of consciousness.